there guys, Mike here again. Thanks for clicking this video. Welcome to my shop. A while back I made an over-engineered beer bottle opener. And here it is. Uh, this thing will actually shoot beer bottles, uh, caps across the room. It's a pretty cool party gag and it was fun building it. And I have a build video on this if you want to have a look. So another thing I've been wanting to over-engineer is a pink hand shaker. And now and a lot of people will just use a drill or a reciprocating saw, but I want to do something a little bit unique and over-engineer that as well. I recently made this little air compressor engine in, so it's an oscillating air compressor engine. And I thought to myself, I think I could upscale this and turn it into a pink hand shaker. Now I realize that some of you probably aren't going to build something like this, but please come along for the ride and I'll show you my thought process and how I go about building this. So this is a little compressed air engine or steam engine that I built. You push air into here, it goes into a little hole forces this little piston down and then it spins over to the other side air exhausts out of that little hole here and the cycle keeps on happening over and over again so as this rotates back and forth it's going to intake exhaust intake and exhaust so I'll show you how that works we'll put a little air in here that works pretty good so what I figure I want to do is upscale this to for a paint can so the paint can will actually sit here and go like that so we'll make this into a big paint can holder and we'll put a little like a drill or a motor here and that will spin back and forth and therefore shake in the can. I'm a bit of a pack rack. I tend to hold on to things. I have a bunch of these skateboard wheel bearings and I thought, oh, let's incorporate these into the device to make it run really nice and smooth. So we're looking at this engine. It basically has three main parts. We have the main shaft, we have the holder and we have the oscillating part. We're gonna mount this into a vise. So we'll use this as the base of the holder. We will drill a hole through there and we mount two bearings. I think we need two bearings at the bottom here. So we'll mount two bearings like that and we'll make the eccentric out of this and that will on the end will offset a little hole there so the eccentric will go around creating the pivot and then we'll create another bearing up on top and we'll figure I'll use this and this will strap the can to it and then this will go back and forth. Here we could use this aluminum here to make the bearing housings. So we'll just hog this out and we'll press the bearings in there and we can bolt them to everything. So let's get building. We did a bunch of fabrication work and machining. Here's the base plate with the bearing clamshelled in there. We machined a shaft that goes in there. We have a, a thrust washer that goes in there. We have the eccentric, it has an offset hole. We're gonna mount another bearing in this offset hole and this will be part of the oscillating mechanism. So we still need to fabricate that part. I went ahead and machined this to fit on there like that and that has the bearing on it. And that will be the part of the oscillation that goes back and forth like this. And we will make a little holder here for the can, go like that, and it will swing back and forth. And we'll do is we'll mount on the bottom and we'll weld it on. That way we can actually mount it in a vise and hold it securely as we're shaking the can. So let's go ahead and do some welding. So things are coming along nicely. I got the bottom shaft all ready in here and we got the top oscillating section and that runs nice and smoothly. I ended up having to change the bearings, uh, those cheap bearings that I had, uh, there was way too much play in them. So I went with a better quality uh, bearing in there. So that's in here and you can see how smooth that is. So the next part of the design here is to figure out how to hold the paint can. 
So we have a little paint can holder in there and I figure I'm going to do a strap around that to hold it into place. That'd be good. And I have another option here for a smaller style can and I have tabs here and when I'll pull something over top like that and that will work as well. So the next part of the circuit here is to figure out how to create the oscillation. I went ahead and fabricated this little bearing holder with a, a rod out the top, kind of like a piston. And that will go into this piece of DOM in here and it's a pretty tight fit. And what we'll do is we'll mount a bearing in here and screw it into this eccentric and as it spins around it will create the oscillation. So as I mentioned these bearings are a little sloppy so I'm going to have to not use them and go with something with a better quality. So these are a little bit higher end bearings. Um, this is going to fit in here just like that perfectly. I'm going to slit it with a slitting saw and that will give me two halves and then I can put the bearing in and then I can close it and pinch it in there so it's really nice and tight. So we slit that and we put some machine screws in the bottom there and we clamshell the bearing in there and it sits in there pretty tight. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put this cover on and we'll just weld it on the top and that way we can actually remove the bottom cap and that should be enough to retain that bearing. And if it's not, well, I guess we'll redesign it. So most of the fabrication work is done. I found a band to hold that together. I got a bunch of rubber there to kind of cushion everything. The tape is just temporary. So the paint's been curing here for a couple days now and we're ready for final assembly. Just some housekeeping items. On these two shafts that we have, I ended up putting in some wrench flats. So we filed in some eight millimeter wrench flats so we can tighten it up really good. And for the bearing housings here, these are made out of aluminum. So what we'll do is we'll polish these up. We'll give them some emery cloth. Uh, we'll give it some steel wool and then we'll use this mother's mag polish. We'll make it a really nice shine and we'll make it look good. And once that's all done, we'll do the final assembly and we'll try it out. So here's all the parts laid out for final assembly. There's over 40 pieces in this paint can shaker. So here it is, all completed. So let's give it a try. You can also hold it by hand. This thing turned out way better than I thought it would. It's amazing how this morphed into something like this. Is it silly? Yeah, it's completely silly. Do you need to do something like this? No, you don't. But sometimes you just have to challenge yourself, think outside the box, and do something unique similar to my over-engineered bottle opener. So please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. I'd like to know what you guys think. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.